New York Dialects uh, is obviously a program that is close to a city that I lived in for 20 years. So many artists have found um, their creative juice, their flow in New York. And New York Dialects highlights two of these creators. One is George Balanchine, um, probably the most famous creative choreographic voice of the 20th century. And Pam Tanowitz, who's um, currently creating and very active in New York. So Serenade actually was um, a ballet that I promised myself if I ever became a director, it was one of the first works that I would bring to uh, said company. And um, I wanted to be a man of my word, and I really wanted to bring Serenade to the Australian Ballet in one of my first programs because of its importance, because of the fact that it is such a masterpiece. Um, Four Temperaments, on the other hand, is uh, another work that really shows the breadth of Balanchine. It shows um, the, the arc of Balanchine. It's so different from Serenade. He stripped you know, the costumes off and had the dancers in rehearsal gear and then created these shapes. I mean, what for me, what is so compelling about Four Temperaments are the shapes the dancers make. And every time before the curtain goes up, I talk to the dancers um, and say, you know, have a good show, um, but commit to the shapes. Uh, and that's something that I love to watch about Four Ts. So then we've got Balanchine and we have Pam Tanowitz, who's created um, my first commission for this company. And Pam's movement is, you know, unlike a lot of the movement the dancers had, had ever done before. But um, there was a group of dancers that just were, took to, to the creative process so well. So we have Serenade, we have Watermark, which is the Pam work, um, music by Carolyn Shaw. And then we close with Four Temperaments. And it's truly a very New York program, taking a piece of me a bit. Um, to Australia and, and um, the company.